In this video, I'm going to cover the ICT silver bullet strategy, as that's the strategy ICT is currently trading with in the Robins Cup. There is different kinds of ICT silver bullet strategies, and I'm going to cover the one that's between 10 and 11 a.m. New York local time. For our first example, we first have to mark out 10 and 11 a.m. And then we also want to look for price sweeping a form of sell side liquidity. And that we see right up into 10 a.m. price sweeps the sell side liquidity. So in that case, we can go down into the one minute time frame where we're going to execute our trade. Down here in the minute time frame, we see the price swept the sell side liquidity. And we want to see price sweep a form of sell side liquidity or buy side liquidity, either going up to 10 a.m. or within the 10 a.m. to 11 a.m. window. Now that we saw the price with the sell side liquidity, we want to look for these specific criteria. The first one being we want to see a value gap between 10 and 11 a.m. supporting price in the opposing direction of where price with the sell side liquidity. So price with sell side liquidity to the downside, then we want to look for a value gap that could support price in going up to the upside. And right here we form the first value gap between 10 and 11 a.m. the window. We see right here from this value gap that could support price and going higher. Next up, we want to look for a drawn liquidity. And we could see right here that we have low resistance liquidity. And we also had this clean buy side liquidity up here. So this is our drawn liquidity. And then we want to see this trade. The trade doesn't need to be insert and exit within the same 60 minute window. So if we tr insert the trade in the 10 a.m. to 11 a.m. window, it doesn't need to be exited between 10 a.m. and 11 a.m. It could be exited until the p.m. session or something like that. So then we see price react off of the busy, takes off, and then take out our drawn liquidity. Now for the next example, we see that up here on the hard time frame, price swept buy side liquidity. And that was going into the 10 a.m. An 11 a.m. window. So in that case, we could drop down into the one minute time frame and look for a value gap that would support the idea of lower prices. Down here on the one minute time frame, we first start off by marking out the ICT silver bullet a.m. time zone, and that was between 10 a.m. to 11 a.m. And then we want to look for a value gap that was between 10 a.m. to 11 a.m. And that value gap we want to see in the opposite direction of where price with the buy side liquidity. So price with buy side liquidity to upside, then we want to look for a bearish value gap to the downside. And the first value gap that I personally see is this one right here. But this one got overlapped. But we could still use it as we see price did respect it. Then there was this one right here. That was also between 10 and 11 a.m. It was just a bit further out into the ICT silver bullet range. And as we see that this actually worked. So in that case, we could use this as our trade entry, enter at the bottom, put our stop loss, maybe right here, and then target a form of sell side liquidity. And we see that we have a lot of low resistance liquidity. And right here, the smart money reversal happened where price started to go on a buy program. And we also see the price with buy side liquidity and it's now starting to go on a sell program. So in that case, we would target this low down here. And we see price thus take out this low. And another criteria, or reason really criteria, just an extra tip, is that the trade doesn't need to be entered and exited within the same 60 minute window. So if I enter at 11 a.m., it doesn't need, I, doesn't, I don't need to exit at 12 a.m. I can hold the trade as long as the idea is still valid. And we see the price sweeps the sell side liquidity. Something that is very important to know when trading the ICT silver bullet strategy is that the value gap is mostly preferred to be within a premium or a optimal trade entry. But it doesn't have to, it's just preferred. And then when we are looking for a drawn liquidity when trading the ICT silver bullet strategy, Previous session, high or low, is a great draw on liquidity. If you'd like to engage with other traders, you can join my Discord link in the description. It's totally free.
Here for our next example, we see the price with sell side liquidity and price with sell side liquidity right at the silver bullet time zone open at 10 a.m. So in that case, we want to look for a bullish falling gap that could support price to the upside as price with sell side liquidity to the downside. And what do we see here? We see that we have this falling gap that price taps with into between 10 a.m. to 11 a.m. So this valley gap is what we're going to base our trade entry on. And this valley gap, is this within a discount? No, it's not within discount. But that is not a criteria. It's just more preferred. So in that case, we could take an entry based on this valley gap, put our stop loss, maybe at this Value gap and then target the equilibrium of this large range as we see right here. And that will make almost a free risk reward ratio. Now let's see how this would look like in lifetime. We know that we have our sell side liquidity down here, which is our initial drawn liquidity as it is within the PM session. So this is a session low. And now we just have to wait for the 10 a.m. to occur. Right here, 10 a.m. occurs, and we see the price sweat the sell side liquidity. So that means we're now bullish and looking for bullish valley gaps. That is between 10 and 11 a.m. Right here, we have a bunch of valley gaps, but I wouldn't take any of these because price is currently trading within this SIPI. So when this gets overlapped, and inversed, we could start looking for a trade entry. And we see that these bases get disrespected. And now price inversed this value gap. And that means we could start looking for the ICT silver bullet. And currently it's 1040. So that means there's still time. And we could look for one in a discount if we wanted to, or we could take one of these two valley gaps. And let's just say we were to enter off of this valley gap. So right here we would buy, then put our stop loss, we could say at the equilibrium of the range we wanted to, and then target the equilibrium of this large range up here. From this high, down to this low. And take profit right here. And that will make a decent 1R. Right here we see the price is starting to move forward. And then price took out both the equilibrium and also this internal range liquidity. Just to go over the trade again, last time we took a trade entry based off this large value gap. Then we could put our stop loss at the equilibrium of the range or below this large inversion value gap because if this inversion value gap gets disrespected, price is most likely to move lower. So in that case, we could put our stop loss below this and then we would target the equilibrium of the range. And when price takes out internal range liquidity, which price is right here, then we would put our stop loss to break even. And we see that wasn't actually necessary as price took out this high up here and also took out the equilibrium of the range.